In this video, I'll be creating a provisioning package that goes from out of the box experience to users desktop without any user interaction. It will be using chocolate to provision software. It will also set Google Chrome as the default browser and Adobe Acrobat Reader as the default PDF reader. And I'm starting this video from a GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see all the objectives for this package. Like I said, it will be using Chocolaty to install software. And it will install Google Chrome, Adobe Reader, 7-Zip, Notepad++ and VLC. It will also set Google Chrome as the default browser and Adobe Reader as the default PDF reader. And it will also perform all the necessary actions to go from the out-of-the-box experience to user's desktop. And this includes skip out-of-the-box experience, skip privacy experience, create user admin without a password, and then disable sleep because we don't want our computers to go to sleep during the provisioning process. And here you can see all the execution orders because most of the actions in this package are scripted with PowerShell. And the only default action that I will be using in the Windows Configuration Designer is to skip off the box experience. Everything else will be scripted with PowerShell. For example, here we can see that we are executing from the package ubi setup script. The script will be responsible for skipping everything in the out of the box experience and also executing few other scripts. For example, here we can see that it is executing Ubi Chocolatey script. This will install Chocolatey, Adobe Reader and Google Chrome. And it's very important to understand that this script Ubi Chocolatey will be executed in the out of the box experience. And this is important because even though the package will be performing offline Chocolatey installation, it will be performing online Adobe Reader and Google Chrome installation. And this means that the computer needs to have internet access during the out-of-the-box experience. And the main reason why the package will be installing Adobe Reader and Google Chrome in the out-of-the-box experience is because it's a requirement for the second script called Ubi Associations. And this script is responsible for setting Google Chrome as the default browser and Adobe Reader as the default PDF reader. And the main reason why we are installing Adobe Reader and Google Chrome in the out-of-the-box experience is because we can set associations only before the user is created. And after the package will set the associations, it will create a user admin without a password. It will skip the privacy experience menu, disable sleep, and also configure active setup to execute another script called desktop provisioning. And this script will be executed by active setup after the out of the box experience is fully completed and the user will be signed in for the first time in his desktop. And this script will wait for the network connection and then it will also use Chocolaty to install 7-zip, Notepad++ and VLC. And that's basically it. These are all the actions that the provisioning package will be performing. Also, one reminder here is that I have this note saying that the package requires internet connection in out-of-the-box experience. And this is very important because this means that the package that I will be creating in this video is not for everyone. For example, if you are performing clean Windows 11 installation, this means that your Windows image needs to have the drivers for the network adapter on the computer. Also, this means that you need to ensure that the network cable is plugged into the computer or that the Windows installation has the wireless network connection settings. Next week I plan to upload another video about creating a very similar package, but instead of performing online installation for Adobe Reader and Google Chrome, the package will be performing offline installation. And that means that the package will not require internet connection in the out-of-the-box experience, but instead because it will have the installation files for Adobe Reader and Google Chrome inside of the package, you will need to update the package from time to time if you want to have the latest installation for Adobe Reader and Google Chrome. And now I'll begin creating this package and I will start by downloading all the necessary files for it. And I will start with chocolate installation files and for that I will click on the link that I have here that brings me to the chocolate GitHub page. Here I will click on the latest release. Then I will scroll down and here we are looking for the MSI file. I will click on it. And then the download should start. If I go to my downloads folder, here we have the executable for the chocolate installation. And now I need to download all the PowerShell scripts for the provisioning package. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page because we can download all of them from here. The main script is ubi setup. The script will be executed in the out of the box experience. 
And this is kind of the main script because it is responsible for configuring everything in the out of the box experience and also executing other scripts. For example, here we can see it is executing Ubi Chocolatey and Ubi Associations. After that, it is creating a provisioning folder on the computer and it moves some of the files from the provisioning package to that folder because this allows us to execute other scripts outside of the provisioning process. After that, it will create a user named admin without a password. It will configure active setup to execute the desktop provisioning script. Also, it will skip the privacy experience and configure the power settings. And to download this script, we can click on the button right here. And this should start a download. Let's go back to the GitHub page. Here we can click on chocolatey PS1 script. And here this script is responsible for installing chocolatey from the package and then installing Adobe Reader and Google Chrome chocolatey packages. And to download script and once more, we need to click on the button right here. Go back to the GitHub page. The second script is Ubi Associations. And here we have a DEXML that is responsible for setting Google Chrome as the default browser and the uh, Adobe Reader as the default PDF reader. And to download the script, once again, let's click on the button right here. And the last script is desktop provisioning. And this script will be executed after the out of the box experience is finished and the user is logged in to his desktop. And as you can see here, we're installing 7-zip and Notepad++ and also VLC. But before the installation, we are waiting for the network connection. And after we get the network connection by checking if we can ping Google servers, where we are starting to execute Chocolatey and Chocolatey will install the packages that you see here. Let's click on the download button and let's check the downloads folder if we have everything that we need. So we have the chocolate installation file and also for PowerShell scripts. And that's basically everything that we need for our package. Now to create the package, I will go to the Windows Configuration Designer. I will click on File, New Project. I will name the package Package. Then let's click Next. Next, here I will select all Windows Desktop Editions and then Next and then Finish. And the first action that I will be configuring is skipping the out of the box experience. And for that, I will go to runtime settings. Then let's find Ubi, click on desktop. And for hide Ubi, I will select true. And now we need to place all the PowerShell scripts and the chocolate installation file inside of our package. And for that, I will go to provisioning commands and device context. I will click on command files and I will click browse and go to my downloads folder. Here I will select all files that I have in my downloads folder, so the chocolate installation file and four PowerShell scripts. Then I will click open and then I will click add. And as you can see, all files appeared here in the package. And now we need to configure the execution for the Ubi setup script. So I will click on command line. I will go back to my GitHub page. Then here I have the command that I will be using to execute the Ubi setup PS1 script and Ubi setup PS1 script will execute and configure everything else. So let's click on the button right here, go back to the package and insert the command line here. And that's basically it for our package. And now to create the provisioning package, we need to click on export provisioning package. Here I will click next, 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 and then build. Then I will click on the output location. And in here, we only care about the file that is called package.pppkg. I will right click on it, select copy. Then I will go to my USB drive and place the provisioning package inside of my USB drive because I will be testing this package. And to test this package, I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows 11 virtual machine that is inside of the out of the box experience. And to execute the provisioning package, the only step that we need to do is to plug the USB drive to the computer or in this case this virtual machine and then the provisioning process will automatically start and then it will finish all the steps in the out of the box experience and log into the admin user that will be created by the provisioning package and to connect the USB drive to this virtual machine I will go to VM remove both devices I will select edit device that I want to connect and click on connect and now we need to wait a bit for the provisioning package to finish all the steps And as you can see, the provisioning package was executed successfully. Here we have 
the desktop provisioning script that was responsible for installing software. Here we can see 7-zip package installing notepad and VLC. And then we can see that four of the four packages was successfully installed. And also if I go to my default applications and let's select Adobe Acrobat, here we can see that it is the default PDF reader. And if I go to Google Chrome, here we can see that it is the default browser in this computer. And that means that all the configurations worked successfully. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.